Well, we are back, Westworld fans, for episode 7, season 4. This is the penultimate episode for what possibly could be the final episode of Westworld next week. I know they out planned out five seasons, but the way this season, and really much the way this episode went down, I have a feeling next week is the final episode, and that is going to be the definitive thing. Maybe I'll be wrong. Let me know down below what your guys' thoughts are, but I'm definitely excited to hear your guys' thoughts from this entire episode. So make sure to leave your guys' thoughts down below, as well as hit that like and subscribe button so we can keep talking movies and TV over here on a daily basis. So let's get straight into this, because holy shit, that was, that was a wild episode. This has been a season, I said it last week, that if this episode and next week's episode are phenomenal, this is the best season of Westworld, and I'm continuing that statement. If next week doesn't shit the bed, this is the best season yet. I absolutely loved from twist to turn how everything really worked out and how this felt such an emotional ride for each and every one of these characters. Now, they killed off quite a few people, and in very shocking manners, and I'm wondering if next week has some twist and turn that we're still going to see them. I imagine that we will, because really much the only player still on the board now is Stubbs, Caleb, and Caleb's wife, or Caleb's wife, Caleb's daughter, Cookie, as well as Dolores and Teddy. Then you have the man in black who now is taking out Hale, taking out the entire tower, taking out Maeve, and also taking out Bernard. But there's still the whole background of the sublime and what that might actually do. And I think some of the stuff that we see saw in the beginning of this episode, the simulation wise of what Bernard has been running, adds a lot of intrigue to this. Because as this whole entire finale is playing out, or penultimate episode is playing out, towards the back of the episode, when these characters start dying, I'm like, this has to be a simulation. And then, of course, nope. By the very end of the episode, it is not a simulation from what we understand. This is fully what is going on in the world. And I think it all ties back into what some people might find some of the weakest aspects of the season is what's going on with Dolores and Teddy. Now, the more and more I think about it, Ariana DeBose is very much wasted in this season. She's an Academy Award winning actress and she was very much not even used in this season at all for anything other than just being Dolores' roommate. But the thing that I really love with this whole segment is when she realizes that she is not in this world. She is somewhere out there. And I imagine her and Teddy are probably in the sublime. But how is that connecting to this world? How is she there? What is she seeing? How is she able to control certain things? And where does that end up going? For me, this ends up debating that Dolores is, in the end, the key to everything. She's the key to saving humanity in a way, in one way, shape, and form of when you look at what Bernard looks at as the different simulations and how he ran so many different ones to get these outcomes, but he didn't counter for everything the man in black was not something he encountered for it feels like the same thing as well as Dolores he did not encounter that there are elements like this that now add into the entire thing of what the beginning of this episode showcases that Bernard knows everything but not every single time and that there are ways that this will still affect them going forward so I, I love how Westworld really much writes this all. And even the beginning, at first, I thought that maybe he was doing a fidelity test with Maeve. But no, in reality, he's maybe kind of doing one. But it really is just him running simulations to see what is the best outcome for them to get the best possibility in the end. And this feels like the end of the show because it is level a threading world level ending situation extinction of all kinds. And it's really thought provoking to see where all these different elements are going and in general how we as a society can live and move on from this and this entire season how we created this ai and to now see where this ai has come from from the first season all the way to season four is really touching and really beautiful and also fucking scary to think of that and to think that we as society in real life are creating ai that could one day do this. This all feels real. And that's what I've always loved about Lisa Joy and Jonathan Nolan's writing, show running, all of that nature. They have been able to create something like that. And something I do want to point out, if you haven't seen the Hugh Jackman rem movie called Reminiscence that came out last year that Lisa Joy actually directed, I know it didn't get all the best buzz. I fucking love that movie. And it really feels like it is a part of this Westworld whole entire thing so if you like Westworld I absolutely cannot recommend Reminiscence enough because Lisa Joy did such a phenomenal job with that but going back to this the last thing I really want to touch into this because I, I have no theories for what's going on next week I, I have literally zero theories to what can possibly happen 
But what I will say is that the emotional hug that Stubbs and Bernard had really just brought some tears to my eyes. And really enough, I was sitting there like, ah, oh, this is it for Stubbs. But as the episodes are playing out, I'm like, no, 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 no. Bernard knows he's going to die. Stubbs is getting out this time. And I really like that touching feature. Now, of course, next week, if Stubbs dies, then that, that theory is wrong. But it really felt like Bernard was giving that to Stubbs to go left. You'll survive this way. The other thing that I really loved is, of course, Caleb and his reunion with his daughter. That entire sequence was so beautiful and so well done and just reminds me again of how Aaron, uh, Aaron Paul is one of the best actors that has ever worked on TV. Breaking Bad, he was masterful in there and this just goes again to once again in this show how masterful he is in this show as well. And I love, love, love each and every one of those moments. And last but not least, Maeve. Fandy Nguyen absolutely kills this. She is badass. The outfit she's wearing is so Matrix and Terminator-like. I'm like, damn, girl. Why have we? Why is Fanny Newton not like blown up in Hollywood yet? Like, It feels like she deserves so much more. But I loved her. And I love how in this position, she's just like, I'm just going to do what I need to do. The last really intriguing aspect is how the man in black and William, they have this conversation and... It really much strikes a chord with this fake copy version of him that ends up killing the real version and setting off motion of what needed to be happen. And again, ends up going into what Charlotte Hale, or of course this evil version of Dolores, really always lost out on. She was trying to play around with it and Caleb is run these fidelity tests to figure it out in the end. But when the reality is, she lost a lot. And she didn't ever equivalent for what might happen to some of the people around her. It's the same thing with just what happened in season one. What happens when AI starts thinking for themselves? What happens when AI starts working that way? What happens if you can't control them? There's always going to be something out there that you can't control. There's going to be situations you can't. And I think she got too much in her God mode head to lose all this. So overall, I, this is a very rambled in reaction to the entire episode. I overall loved this episode. I loved all the buildup that it had. I thought this was such a fantastic penultimate episode. I have no idea what's going to be going on next week because we lost a lot of main characters this week. I assume maybe some way, shape, and form they do come back in the end, but this is shaping up to feel like the actual finale for the entire show. So guys, thank you so much again for watching this. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Comment down below your guys' thoughts because I'm curious to see your guys' thoughts on this episode. If you guys enjoy it, did you agree with me? Do you not? Let's talk about it. And of course, until next time, stay classy.